to provide you with a bright living socket light that would flood your area with light. But when your hands are full, wouldn't it be great if it could be motion activated? Now look at the difference in a typical garage setting. And if someone were to come up the back stairs and all that light were to come on, automatically someone's gonna be scared away. Incandescent bulbs are very light, are very dim. Basements, crawl spaces, work sheds, garages, wherever you need an abundance of light that is adjustable, that's where you need the bright living. Now you're not getting one of these, you're getting two of these. You're also getting two extenders. So if you've got a socket that is a little deeper, this extender is included as well. Now, these are remarkable. With these wings and these LED lights, you've got 6,000 lumens of light. Now you might be thinking, well that's gonna pull an awful lot of power, David. 6,000 lumens, that's equal to 6,000 lit candles. So 6,000 lumens here, is equivalent to one 60 watt bulb. So you know how much power one 60 watt bulb pulls. This fixture pulls no more power than a 60 watt bulb. But look at the difference in the output. Look at the difference in how you can adjust and aim the light wherever you need it. And these are motion sensitive. They're going to recognize motion 16 to 26 feet away. They'll stay on, but after 90 seconds of no motion, they automatically turn themselves off. Driving into a dark garage is going to light up like Yankee Stadium. And you don't get one, you get two for this price. Two of these lights for $38.30, and they're on easy pay. Now, I have color choices for you, and you may choose either the gray as our only order of the year, and in our gray, we have about 2100 to go around. Now, you're, uh, we have just one of the other two colors here, but you are getting a pair, a set of two in the black, I have fewer than 1,000 and a set of two in the white. 2,100 to go around in the white. Imagine it's as easy as screwing in a light bulb because that's all you're doing, screwing it into the socket. If your socket is a little deeper, we include these extenders and the extenders will match whatever color you're choosing tonight. This, well, actually, I think the extenders are all white. So this is an opportunity for you to enjoy our only order of the year and enjoy something that will turn on and off automatically. You go down those basement stairs and your hands are full of a laundry basket, no worries about a switch or trying to hit it with your elbow. You start down the steps and your sheer movement lights this up. And now the whole area is blasted with light. This is incredibly bright. Look at the comparison again. This pulls 60 watts. This is a 60 watt bulb. Look at the difference in the light output. Same amount of power, how much more light are you getting with our bright living fixture? This is incredible. And you get not one of these, you get two of them for this low price, and it's our only order of the year. 200 of these are already out the door, and we just got very, very busy on our phone lines. QVC.com and mobile apps, the best way to get through right now is we bring in our bright living expert, Amy D'Angelo is here, to illuminate the subject even more. Hello, Miss Amy. Hello, David. I'm in the dark. I'm always in the dark when I'm talking to you, but this is so amazing. This light, I'm going to actually turn off my camera light. I'm going to go really dark for a second, and now I'm turning on. There are two 60-watt traditional incandescent bulbs over this car, and watch what happens. I'm going to shut it off, and I'm going to turn on my bright living, and there's two over this car. These two lit up almost the entire garage. And it's just amazing how you can get 750% more light out of this than your traditional 60 watt bulb. I'm gonna do that for you one more time. I'm gonna go dark. I'm gonna turn on my traditional, I have two 60 watt incandescent bulbs here. And again, you can see a little bit, but look at all the shadowed parts of my garage. And I'm gonna turn that off and watch what happens. Look at the difference now between the two bright living bulbs and how you can almost see in my entire garage the difference between just having this little bit of golden glow as opposed to, as you said, Yankee Stadium here in my garage. Well, I'll tell you, I just ordered my set of two and plan to put these in my garage because I want to pull in at night after working late in the evening and open my garage door. And as soon as my car starts to pull into the garage, this motion sensor will go off and both lights will turn on. And as we mentioned, Yankee Stadium time in my garage. If I get home after midnight, I'm not worried because there's so much light blasting in the garage. And as soon as I grab my briefcase, 
and lock the car and pull the trash bin in and go inside and close the garage door, after 90 seconds of no motion, this light automatically turns off. Now follow me back to our garage back here. Now in this open garage back here, we've got a light. We've got one of our bright living lights, uh, light fixtures. Now it's just underneath the garage opening. Now understand it's not going to go off until I either pull a car in there or I walk in. So let's hold that shot right there, guys. And here we go. Okay. Where are you? Now, David, there is a setting so you can have it on motion or you can have it set so that it comes on automatically when you switch that light on. I think so it's on the wrong switch. Okay. <laughs> so do. we'll work on getting that corrected. But the most important thing is... This is your opportunity to enjoy something that is going to absolutely be easy to install and quick to set up. Yes, and David, so as you can see, you can set it to motion, you can set it to regular, but look at the difference when you have just your incandescent bulb as opposed to the bright living light. And again, this is 750% brighter than a traditional 60 watt bulb. And that's what I love about it. It's gonna put out 6,000 lumens of light but it's only going to draw the energy of a 60 watt bulb. And this bulb, if you use it three hours a day, will last you 40, uh, uh, sorry, 45 years. I was going to say 40,000 hours. It's a 50,000 hour bulb, but will last you 45 years. And I want to get in close for one sec. There's that little switch we were talking about. So you can set it to go on with motion, or you can have it just go on automatically. I'm going to go dark again, turn off all my lights here. And here I've put on my two incandescent bulbs and you can see how part of my garage is lit up and part of it isn't but when i shut that off and i put on my bright living bulb look at the difference of how much brighter light comes out of two of these now if you have a two-car garage you're going to need two sets for your four bulbs if you've got four fixtures up there remember they're a set of two and these each of these little lights which are adjustable 365 degrees has 33 LED. Here, let me get in really close for you so you can see that. It's got 33 LED little bulbs. There you go, I can see it better down here. So there's 99 little LEDs on here, which are giving us those 6,000 lumens of light. And it really does make such a difference. I'm actually gonna back up for one second and I'm gonna show you again. If you have on my prop here, look at the difference of just my 60 watt incandescent bulb and now I've put on my bright living bulb. Look at the difference in how I can now adjust this light to wherever I need it to be in my garage. And it lights up everything. So you really do have that <clears throat> sense of safety and security and light where you need it. Now, I need to remind you that we've taken orders for over a thousand of these are gone now. A set of two are coming to me. Here is your set of two in the gray. I have 1,900. Remember, these are, this is your final order of the year. I also have a set of two in the black, 800 in the black, and then finally a set of two in the white, and white is most popular, with only 1,600 now to go around. $38.30. Take a look right here. You're not getting one of these. You're getting two of these, and you're getting the extender. Now, will the extenders match the color of the lights, Amy, or will the extenders always be white? The extenders are always white, David, and they're approximately four inches. So if you've got that high hat and you need to drop it down a little, you can just screw it on. And again, even with that extender on, it screws into all your traditional, you know, regular light sockets. So on or off, it's going to install the exact same way. And you're getting 6,000 lumens of light with just this one bulb. That's a crazy number to me. I'm going to actually turn off my lights again, turn off my camera lights. Here we go. We're going dark. So I have over here my 60 watt. I've got two 60 watt incandescent bulbs. And again, look at all the shadow even behind the car there. You can see it's dark. But if I turn that off and I go over here and I turn on my tradition, my bright living bulb, you can see how much brighter it is. And it's even lighting up this side of the garage why because i've adjusted those panels that will each adjust up to 365 degrees so you really can get here i'll get a nice and close you really do have a nice range of which to move these with so you can adjust that light to shine down where you need it most giving you that brightness that security everything that you need 
whether it's on motion or it's activated by your light switch, it's your choice. You just have to pick a color. And that's what's so great. Bright Living has thought of everything for us. Now, Amy, you flip a switch here. So if you want to still be able to turn that light on with a switch, you can do that. Or you can switch it into the motion sensor mode. Is that right? Correct. So I think that was the problem with our garage back here. So we're going to get that switch back and the light is nice and high. So we need to get a ladder to fix that. But it's important to know that this is going to do the job for you and put these in basement in crawl spaces. Use these in your shed out back in the garage, anywhere that you're going to need this extra amount of light. Now, can we use these on a covered porch? I, I realize that this is probably primarily for indoor use, but can we put it on a covered porch? Yes, just like we saw in the video, you can have it on a covered porch. You just don't want it out like on a garage light outside where it's exposed to all the elements. If it's covered, you're good or indoor, it's great. But David, look at how much light is coming into that garage and it's motion activated if you want, or you can use it with the switch. It's very simple and it just lights up all your space. And if you've got that unwanted visitor coming up to your home, now when those lights come on with that motion activation, you don't have to have that worrisome you know, thought in the back of your mind. And again, this is a 50,000 hour bulb, just like Bright Living always loves to give us. If you keep this on for three hours a day, right. you will get 45 years out of each bulb, which to me is just a wonderful thing. I'm gonna go dark again. I keep sending you guys into the dark, I'm sorry. Look at this, these 260 watt incandescent bulbs. Look at all the shadows and darkness in my garage. And I have a very neat, organized garage, so I should be able to see everything. But now when I turn on my bright living bulb, I can even see things all the way back on my tool chest to see exactly what I need. And I've only got two of those in here. Imagine if I changed out these traditional incandescent bulbs and my entire garage was lit up. Well, I could see everything I need whether it's the middle of the night or the middle of the day, I would have perfect brightness in here. Let me remind you, it's our only order of the year. And let me show you the color choices again. 1,700 of these are out the door and 500 people on the phone lines. You will get two lights and these are made of metal. And I'm so impressed with the, with the durability and the strength of each of these lights. Now, here's the gray. 1,600 for the rest of the year. 1,600 for the year in the gray. Set of two in the black. 700 to go around and then finally I have a set of two in the white and white is most popular with 1100 now left to go around. Everyone is loving the idea that they can either keep this on a switch or they can let the motion do the work for them. Because how many times do you walk into an area of your home, into a great big crawl space, into an attic, into the basement and your hands are full? Now, maybe you're going to the laundry because the laundry's in the basement and you've got a great big laundry basket in your hand. You're trying to turn a light switch on with your elbow and you accidentally turn off the furnace. I've done that before. So this is why you want to make sure that you've got a fixture like this that will light up the whole area. Not just a little bit, a tremendous amount. This is 6,000 lumens. Now, take a look at our garage back here. We'll leave our outside lights up because we've got the motion sensor light back on. 90 seconds went by and this light went out. I walk back into the garage, bang, it all comes back on. This is the beauty of having this light where you never have to worry about a switch. You never have to worry about it. And when I walk away from it in 90 seconds, that light automatically turns off. Sorry we didn't have that on the right, <laughs> on the right motion switch earlier. That's Murphy's Law, right? Live TV. But what you're going to love is that now there is plenty of light where and when you need it. Now let's do bring our lights down in this studio because I want to show you the difference between these two fixtures. They're both pulling an identical amount of power. This is a 60 watt bulb. This pulls 60 watts of power as well. Now look at which one is brighter. Which one would you rather have in your garage, in your crawl space, in your basement, in your workshop, in your shed outside, on the covered back porch? I think you very easily would pick this one. You can also aim this light wherever you need it to go. So now it is positionable. Now the quantity we have left is all we have for the year. Now 2,200 have been ordered. I have 600 people on the phone lines. Let me show you the colors one final time. Set of two in the gray, 1,500 left in the gray. I have a set of two in the black, 600 in the black, and the color I ordered tonight is the white. And it's now more.